Hey, this is Wileen Benson, and you are on the Daily Gratitude Call, where we start every day in gratitude. Gratitude is the highest energy state that we can be in. It creates a frequency of positive vibration that attracts positive experiences into our lives. Hey everybody, this is Wileen Benson. This is our daily gratitude call. Um, Thank you for joining us live and thank you also to those who are joining us on the podcast. I'm excited for what we get to learn today. I personally have um, had a really awesome weekend um, with my daily GPS. I've been working on something for a couple of weeks and when I say working, it's like been the questions in my daily GPS every day and I've been gathering, gathering, gathering. And over this weekend, I got my whiteboard out and just like wrote, I used pencil because it was, you know, way too much to put with a marker. And so just in pencil, I covered two full pages in the big, you know, those big flip charts of um, a marketing plan. And it's, unique. It's new. It's uh, totally different than anything that I'm aware that's out there. I knew that there was an answer to um, the way that I choose to show up for people and, and gather them. And I'm just super excited to start implementing it. It's, it's like mind blowingly simple. It is patterned after Christ's ministry and it's totally amazing and i just feel like it's gonna turn the world on its ear so super excited for that and um today as we were doing our rounds of gratitude before we started our um before we started our our the recording a lot of things that people mentioned had to do with new a new day to start the week new experiences even the rain washing, the cleansing power of rain, like renewing the earth, um, new perspectives, seeing things with new eyes, new week, new month, cultivating new attitudes. I mean, there's a lot of the word new came up a lot. And that's what I feel about this, um, the information that I've received over the last couple of weeks and then having it all put into simple, like just a six step thing. It's like amazing. I could take that two pages of writing down to just six simple steps and um, totally amazing. Um, And I'm just like super excited for these and I'm calling them fresh ideas. Um, For some reason that word fresh just felt like um, was right to use. So that's what we're going to focus on today is gratitude for fresh ideas. And I invite you to just be open to whatever God has for you today in your private silent meditation that we're going to do for 90 seconds and just listen maybe for some fresh ideas or maybe just for some inspiration about the idea of allowing fresh ideas into your life. You know, whatever it is that you um, receive is going to be perfect for you. So I'm going to set the timer for 90 seconds and we're going to do a private silent meditation on gratitude for fresh ideas. And that uh, meditation begins now.
All right. I'm gonna write this note. Um, okay. Um, the thoughts, the very first thought that came to me was it begins with, I don't know. I can't tell you how many times I said the, that phrase, I don't know. 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 I probably some of you on this call have heard me say that throughout these last couple of weeks. I have really been pretty much at a loss for, you know, what those next steps were as far as my marketing in a way that felt right to me. I've had a couple of conversations with people that I've worked with in the past on my marketing, my social media marketing and, you know, different things. Um, and one of the conversations, actually both conversations ended in tears, my tears. Um, the first conversation ended in tears because I was super overwhelmed and frustrated with what they were telling me that I needed to do because it felt wrong. It was like, this is the typical way that everybody markets and it doesn't feel right to me. And I don't know what the answer is. I don't know why this doesn't feel right to me, but it's wrong. It's not me. There's something else out there that I'm not aware of yet. And, and it was just like, I was super frustrated because they didn't know and I didn't know. Um, another conversation that I had with somebody new that I had uh, just made a connection with um, just a couple of weeks ago. It was right about the time when I started asking these questions, I made this connection and uh, that ended in tears because it felt more right. And it was like, wow, okay, this guy really gets me. And he, you know, has some things that, that I need to, to really, you know, take notice of. So I took some of the stuff that he shared with me and I put that on my whiteboard, you know, on my flip chart. And, um, but there were some tears of gratitude and joy because I felt like I was okay. Now I'm finally like on the right track. Um, when we ask and receive new, it's like, we really are stepping into uncharted territory. It's like hacking our way through a jungle. We have no idea what's going to be on the other side after we've hacked through all the, the growth, the overgrowth there's going to be some amazing uh, artifact, you know, temple, something at the other end, but we have no idea what it looks like because we just can't see it. It's there. And um, it was interesting to me that as I was asking every day in my daily GPS, you know, for the, the system that would be perfect for me, that would, um, align with who I am and with God and my purpose and those people who I want to work with and who want to work with me. Um, I was guided back to um, September and October last year. Those of you who have been in my Lord's way to wealth have, have followed me on that. Um, you know that that came to me at the end of, of November, um, like middle to, I think it was like, uh, it was, November 11th was when I got the very first inspiration in my daily GPS about the Lord's way to wealth. Well, September and October were very, were one of those times, like I was going through just the last couple of weeks of, I don't know. There was, um, I, I actually in September put together my resume and I was going to go get a job because I just didn't know where, you know, how I was going to be able to earn the money that I needed to through my business um, October, I got some, uh, inspiration about six days, how God created the earth in six days. And then November, actually, I think it was switched. I think it was September was the six days. And then, uh, October was when I was, was looking for a job. And then, um, November after October, ripping my resume up and deciding that that was not going to help me with my purpose. Um, it was November that I received the Lord's way to wealth. And I realized just now in this meditation that everything came in the perfect order, just like the six days. So what I started to say was when, when I've been in my daily GPS this weekend, I was taken back to September and October, that thought six days 
came to me and I went back and searched through my daily GPS and I found that and it was in September of last year. And in October, there were some additional, like September through October, there were some additional things that added on to that six days. But God created the, the earth in six days and he rested on the seventh. Every single day was one, there, it was a progression. There had to be light for there to be plants. There had to be plants before there could be animals. There had to be animals before there could be people because we had to have the resources, you know, to be able to utilize, um, to be able to grow and develop and multiply and replenish like he wanted to command us to do, command all these, these his creations to do. And that's what I've seen when I went back to September and October, I realized that this was a progression. Um, I needed to know about the six days before I could, you know, do this, before I could do the Lord's way to wealth, before I could, and then I had to have the Lord's way to wealth before there was a need for marketing. Because those of you who have been in the Lord's way to wealth, you know, this is like helping, leading you to creating a business that will allow you to fulfill your purpose and make money at the same time and serve people at the same time. And so it wasn't until I had the Lord's way to wealth that there was a need for a marketing plan. So everything has been in the perfect progression and it took me back around to the six days. So the, the marketing plan that there's some really great information. Um, it's, it's based on, you know, that you have to know about the six days before you can have the marketing plan. So anyway, I, if I sound excited, I hope I do because I am, I'm super excited, super excited to be able to share this and super excited to be able to implement it. Um, June and July are uh, the working months and I know what my job description is now. I know what to do when I go to work every day. I know how to do it. It's like completely laid out, very simple and super excited. I haven't left a lot of time for us to <laughs> share, but um, just, yeah, super excited. So who else? Let's get a few quick shares and um, love to hear what you guys think. I have a, I have a quick thought. Okay. So Thanks, this is Mandy. I, when I was thinking about it, I was seeing um, sticky notes and different colors and how you write on them and you have ideas, but they rotate. Like at one point of our life, certain things that we do works perfect for that time frame. And then there's a time where it's time to take that sticky note off of the surface mm -hmm. and use a different idea or use something different. So it was really cool to see like these little sticky notes and how sometimes they combine all together and sometimes they're their own idea. Awesome. You know what? This is super, it, it kind of actually, I, I'm seeing how that line of progression, because I remember when sticky notes were invented and it was actually a failed process. Somebody was looking for an adhesive so they were trying to create an adhesive and it, it failed. It didn't work. Like you could stick it for a minute and then it would just peel right off. And they utilized that instead of just calling it a failure they decided, well, let's see what we can do with it. And they created sticky notes. And how many, I, I bet every single person on this call, every single person that's listening has a pad of sticky notes in their house. So I love that, that you brought that up. I've used that before, you know, when I'm creating something, I'll put, do a bunch of sticky notes and move them around and stuff. And then it's so great when you can take a sticky note off and throw it away and know that this is done. We're ready for something new. Thanks, Mandy. Who else? I'd like to share. Okay, thanks, Phil. You know, I think that, uh, you know, like the new perspective, you know, that people can give you, um, you know, because when you're in your fire, all you see are flames. And it's hard to see past the flames. And then someone can come by and say, take that candle away from your eye. Mm. put it in the corner of the room and give you a whole new perspective. Mm. Wow. Awesome. I, I love that analogy and it's kind of like, can't see the forest for the trees. Who else?
Listening to you is so inspiring. I have these giant, giant dreams. And by you succeeding in yours, I'm, it feels like, yeah, I can do that too. So thank you so much for sharing. And it gives, I think it just renews hope. Awesome. Thank you, Tyree. I received that. Any other shares? We have time for a couple more. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and shift into our permission process. And I think it's really appropriate that you have a little extra time for our uh, permission process because as we are focusing on new ideas, this is a great creative time right now. So I'm gonna invite you to go ahead and take a deep breath. And just put a smile on your face and just feel the excitement of stepping into something new, allowing yourself to be really open to receiving, knowing that the answer is out there and that all you have to do is ask. Maybe there's some uh, training up that needs to happen before you have all the pieces put together and that's okay. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Yours wasn't created in one day. I invite you to take one more deep breath. Just feeling gratitude for knowing that we have a source of information that has all the answers. And if we can let go of our pride, of our ego, that we have all the, that we have everything already, that we have all the answers, and just allow ourselves to know that there is more and new information that's available that wasn't available before and that you weren't prepared to hear before but now you are so just connect with that source of information and if there is a particular area in your life that you have been saying i don't know i invite you to be aware of that just let it come to you <clears throat> And be okay with the I don't know right now because there is someone who does know. And then open your mind and heart and ask the question, what do I need to know? What do I need to know to move forward in this area? What do I need to know about myself to have faith and confidence that I can get the answer? And just listen for those answers as they come. What do I need to know to trust and take action on my inspired shortcuts? just listening for those instructions of what you need to know your personal commandments and also listening for any limiting beliefs that are coming up And as you're recognizing what limiting beliefs there are, just examine the cost of those limiting beliefs. If you hold on to that limiting belief, what is the outcome? And if you don't like that outcome, you have the choice right now to give yourself permission to choose a new belief. So if you're ready to give yourself permission to choose a new belief, say yes. Yes. Awesome. And those new beliefs, just choose like two or three new beliefs, positive new beliefs that will empower you to let go of that limiting belief, 
We'll encourage you to, to move forward with the new information that you're receiving. We'll allow you to be more open and receptive to receiving the answers. And if you're not receiving anything right now and you're judging yourself about that, that would be a limiting belief that you get to work through. So new beliefs that empower you to be the student to not know, allow you to not know, and also empower you to go to the source that does know. New beliefs that will help you to be humble, teachable, receptive, and also to love yourself enough to receive and to know that whatever you receive is going to be successful. What new beliefs will serve you to allow yourself to be successful in finding the right answers that will move you forward exponentially? And the last question I have for you as you're um, taking in these new beliefs and really seeing that you do have the power to receive these answers, that God is the source, that um, you are being humble and teachable and the student receptive. And as you're taking in these new beliefs and um, allowing them to become part of you, also ask what is the one most important thing that you could do today that would give you evidence of these new beliefs, that these new beliefs would actually not just be paper and pen, but they are actually truth and they're a part of you, that they become part of you. You have evidence of their truth. What is your inspired shortcut today that would help you have, be standing on more solid ground with the new information that you've received today. And as you're looking over the things that you've written today, I invite you to dream bigger. The things that you've written on your paper were things that you were ready to receive today but you're not done. This is not, this is not all that's required. This is just the first step. Allow yourself to dream bigger. Just to open your mind and heart to know that even if you've stifled yourself in the past, because you didn't know you've received an answer today, this is evidence that if you don't know something, you can get the answer. So allow those dreams to unfold in front of you. Don't be scared of them. Know that this is possible and not only possible, but is your path. And this one inspired shortcut is the beginning. In a moment, I'm going to open it up for some shares. <clears throat> and um, I would like to also offer myself as a resource. If you have a dream that you don't know what the next step is, that is a perfect opportunity to connect with me. And all you have to do is just go to askwileen.com and schedule a 15 minute call. And, and that's a free call. We really just, uh, focus on what is the one most important thing that you get to do to, um, to take away all the, the obstacles. And it's a super powerful time. And I love spending that time with people to help them really open up and um, become the best that they can be. So ask I also, um, before we open it up for some shares, I, I just want to give a special invitation to everybody who's listening to this call 
to attend a master class that I'm going to be teaching. It's free. Um, I'll just be doing it on Zoom um, on June 25th at 2 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time. So that would be 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time and um, 1 o'clock Pacific Time. Um, I'm going to be posting the registration page today. We got that completed this weekend. So I'll be posting that today and that it's going to be on mastering this tool of daily GPS. It's mastering the tool of the daily, daily GPS planner. Um, and I'll be giving you a lot of insights that of things that you've never experienced before, things that you don't know about daily GPS. So I encourage you all to uh, participate in that class. It's free. And um, you don't even have to buy the planner to be able to do it. Once you register, I'm going to be sending you a week's worth of pages so that you'll have the pages that you can use over the week, you know, and you can copy them as often as you need to before the 25th. So um, watch my, I'll, I'll be posting that on my personal page, my business page and, and my groups. So you'll, you can't miss it. Um, who has something that they would like to share about their experience today? I do. Thanks, uh, I was just, okay, so I have had, I don't know, uh, months and months of where I didn't miss a single GPS and the love that I felt from my Heavenly Father and from my Savior Jesus Christ, I had never felt in that way or that consistency before. And and then I gradually got less and less consistent and then until it's like now where I just do it here and there. And I I also recognized that there was a redundancy in mine that I wasn't anyway, I wasn't living up to to my birthright or I don't know, that's not the right wording, but I don't know what else wording to use in fulfilling my daily action steps from my GPS. And so I think that's why I felt that redundancy because I didn't see how to get everything done that I was instructed to. And so just, I'm so excited for your masterclass. I know that there's all, there's more to learn and I'm grateful to be inspired to figure, even if you weren't doing the class, just to figure it out better so that I have better results like you have. So thank you, thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate you sharing that. I, I wrote the word rut when you said redundancy. Um, when we think we have all the answers or we're trying to figure it out, we're going to our brains, we're going to our past experience you know, to try to figure it out. It's like this circle, because if we knew the answer, we would be doing it. <laughs> and we have, uh, we just obviously don't have the answer. And it's in your daily GPS is where you're going to get those fresh ideas that will keep you spiraling upward, that you're not, you know, in that kind of redundancy. And, you know, I was talking to my husband yesterday about actually my daughter and her uh, husband were here too. And I was talking about how sometimes, you know, I remember in the past where I would have moments where I was just super charged, you know, spiritually and just feeling the love, like you were talking about from Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ and just feeling like I can do no wrong because I would not even think of, you know, doing anything that was out of alignment in this moment. And you just feel like, wow, this, you know, I just want to be this way for the rest of my life. And then that, that feeling kind of fades. And then you eventually you're like, what happened? You know, I'm in a dark place again. Like I was in such a light place. And why did I let that happen? But that was before I was doing daily GPS every day. And now I do notice that, that if I skip a day or two or a week, you know, there have been times when something will happen and I'm like, haven't done my daily GPS for three or four days. And it shows, I feel it. It's like that daily connection. You guys come in on the daily gratitude call every day. It's recharging. It's getting, 
you know, having that connection, that, that spiritual heavenly connection that keeps us fresh. Um, yeah, I mean, we could, we could have a whole class on that. <laughs> Maybe we will, but super powerful to realize that that daily GPS is what keeps us in the, the, the spirit of freshness, newness, you know, feeling the love from above. Thank you. Any last thoughts before we end our call today? I, I'd like to share mine. Thanks, Phil. So my limiting beliefs are that I'm not good enough or not, not worthy or that um, I failed in some way. And my new beliefs are that I have unique gifts that are perfect for me. I have, I am motivated and open to receiving more and that the answers are near and frequent. So anyway, Beautiful. so that's what I got out of this whole thing. So. Beautiful. I love that. The limiting beliefs seems like they were all about past experience and you know kind of getting stuck in the past or doubting ourselves for what we can create now for the future so anytime you're in that fear doubt you know shame from past experiences or whatever you know that that's not light creative energy that we want to be in we only are creative in the present and i love the way that you have written your new beliefs that i'm motivated to i'm open to so it's basically saying, I'm not there yet. I haven't, you know, I'm, I'm not done. I'm not complete. I'm not finished. And that's okay. Because right, right now in this moment, I'm motivated to, I'm open to, I am, you know, working towards this or whatever. Same thing. You're saying the same thing. Wasn't quite perfect. Still not quite perfect. But it's like so much more positive. Thank you. Well, I appreciate everything that has been shared. Um, this is just a super exciting to be in a brand new week. We're at a new month, you know, we've, we're a week into the new month and um, just really excited for what we get to create. I, I'm just feeling like the sky's the limit right now. And so super excited for what we get to create on our uh, gratitude call over this week. I encourage you to do that daily GPS. If you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, I'm going to be posting that uh, registration page today and um, you'll be getting a basic instructional video plus that week's worth of pages in the planner. So you'll, you'll be able to test that out and then um, save the date for G uh, June 25th, 2 p.m. Mountain Time and join our masterclass for that daily GPS planner. Um, excited uh, for what we get to create this week and we'll look forward to being back together tomorrow morning 7 a.m. mountain time thank you thank you this is awesome thank, thank you. you hey thanks so much for listening and I encourage you to tune in every day to the daily gratitude call and the daily gratitude call happens live every weekday morning I'd love to have you join so to find out how to join live go to my website, wileenbenson.com. Thanks for tuning in.